I want to take this opportunity to thank Brother Jeff for inviting me here. Uh, I've been invited to bring uh, what would be a uh, communion meditation. Uh, I'm wearing a mask because the governor asked all of us to be masked when we go out in public. And I like to see people masked. It, uh, it helps to protect us from the virus. The government is doing all that they can do to try to help us from spreading this virus. Uh, what's going to look like when this is all over? I have never seen in my life the changes that's going on right now. I never thought it would happen that our church services would be canceled. We have that protection under the Constitution that we're allowed to assemble together. And I can understand why our church services are canceled. I can understand that we, we need to comply. We need to do all that we can to try to stop this uh, terrible virus that's going around. And I want to do my part and I thank jo Jeff for the leadership that he's done uh, in this. We have never seen anything like this. And I hope we don't see anything like this in the future. And it, I love the scriptures. It takes me back to what the apostles saw. They saw all of the miracles of Jesus. They saw him... Uh, uh, heal the sick. They saw him feed the 5,000. They saw him heal the blind. They saw him all kinds of miracles. And he kept trying to prepare them. In John, the uh, 13th chapter, he's tried to prepare them that he's going to suffer and die. He's warning them. And none of them believed him. So, they had the Last Supper. They had where they, Jesus told them, don't let your hearts be troubled. And that uh, he instituted the Last Supper for them. And after this, they all scattered. Jesus was beaten. Uh, he was crucified. And at his crucifixion, there was not one, none, of the original apostles or disciples. None of them. The women were there. His mother was there. None of them. And the reason they weren't because all of their hopes and everything was dashed. They had never seen anything like this. They would never see anything like this again. And what changed? You know, right now, I'm supposed to give a communion meditation which I'm going to do. And Jesus did not ask us to remember his resurrection. He asked us to remember his death. It was sacrificial, and it was for us, for our sins. As we, in the communion, as we remember his death and his burial, all of this would have meant nothing if a carpenter is strung up on the cross and he's crucified, they crucified people every day. That meant nothing. That meant nothing to his disciples. That meant nothing to, I mean, the sadness and sorrow of the women that were there, but it meant nothing. And what changed the apostles, what changed all the followers was the resurrection. The crucifixion would have mean, meant nothing if he didn't show that he had power over life and death. This is what we come to the communion about, that we remember that it was Jesus' death for us, his sacrifice, but uh, his resurrection from the grave. As soon as they saw the resurrection, Peter was out boldly proclaiming the gospel as soon as they saw the resurrection, all of the disciples, uh, all of the original apostles died, uh, except for John, died a sacrificial death. Their life changed from fisherman, tax collector, to fishers of men, 
and to where that they gave their life. They saw the power of the resurrection. Let us not forget in this season that it's the power of that resurrection that changed their lives. We're never going to see anything like this again in our life, what's going on now. And boy, when they, at that opportunity, they never saw anything in their life afterward, and their life was never the same. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, as we think of the communion, oh, we miss our brothers and sisters. And we miss this meeting that we might, we might lift you up and remember your sacrifice for us. We thank you for our church. We pray you'd be with each of us as, as we're separated and help us to still draw strength from one another, knowing that we're out there, knowing that, that, that we're trying to live as you ask us to live. We thank you and we pray that you bless us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Uh, I always like to end with a little story and I, my wife and I really appreciate Jeff's messages that he normally has. But there was a picture of Jeff, uh, and it was on the internet. Jeff couldn't find it. I wish he could. It was a very nice picture. And in that picture, uh, Brother John mentioned about his hair looked nice, and his hair always looks nice. But his daughter mentioned that uh, uh, about his glasses, or somebody mentioned about his glasses, and she mentioned that he had about 20 pair of glasses. And, uh, but my wife and I, after watching the message, his hair looked good, his glasses looked good, but I've never seen anything like him teeth. They were beautiful. He has got beautiful teeth. And uh, so uh, uh, if you see a picture of Jeff, you'll notice it as he's preaching this morning. Look at his teeth. They are beautiful. Uh, I want to thank you all, and I hope to see you soon. God bless you.